Hi, TBK family. Uh, it's time for some battle analytics, aka math. So we're going to be looking at uh, different troops, different bonuses, using different uh, captains and equipment. Um, so first off, I did two little attacks here against a level 7 common elf squad. This first one, I used Bran. Level 1, no bonuses whatsoever to this uh, mounted guardsman jungle guardian who uh, is a mounted guardsman unit, basically. Um, you can see here what their health is, 10,000, strength, 3,600. And if you look down here, the bonuses. So in this fight, and it's very particular, in this fight with Bran as the captain, he had 166% uh, extra health, 178.3% extra strength. So, this is who I was fighting, and if I show the details, when they attacked, they dealt 10,000 damage. Then this monster proceeded to kill him. So this is one single unit with Captain Bran. If I now go to um, a day, or a year, or however you want to say it, she does boost Guardsmen. And remember, this is a Guardsman. So if we look down here, my health is 360%, strength 372. What was our last one? 160 and 178. So, putting in that captain, if you click on this, you can actually see what additional bonuses it had during this fight. And now if I click on show details, I got attacked, but I didn't die because my health was above 33,000. Um, I dealt 17,000 damage, so killed 56, and then they killed me. So the final health of this unit would have been, what, like 10,800 times 3.603, 38,912. So 33 doesn't kill it, right? It's lower. That's why this didn't die. I do damage, and then this here, if you add it to that, would be um, 49,707. That kills it, right? Because this is how much health it has, and that's why I died. So let's go to a different fight here. I'm going to go to the Heroic Barbarian squad that we did earlier, and look at my Tier 5 Rider. Now my tier 5 rider, and again I'm looking at this heroic, and I'm going to look at different squads later. My tier 5 had 400% health and 550% strength. And that's based off of my um, hero, who I did not change his equipment. <laughs> Shoot, I should have had uh, his fighting equipment on. So this is my construction equipment, fighting equipment. This is my tar equipment to have more tar overnight. This is my raiding or march speed to go to uh, arenas so he walks faster. Um, yeah, I should have switched to this equipment because it would have boosted that guardsman even more. Uh, I'm actually going to leave him on getting tar right now. Um, anyways, so I can see that was 550% strength, 404% health. Now somebody down here had another tier 5 horseman. This isn't mine, this is somebody else's in the clan, and I can actually see that they had 600% health and 757% strength. 
I can also see they've got really good training costs and training speeds, better than mine. Um, but this is how strong their tier five rider is. So if both of us sent 1,000 of our riders into a battle, remember I said that whoever has the most health would get hit first, and whoever has the most strength does the hitting first, he's going to hit first because he's got more strength and more health and get hit first. So if I show details here, my squad killed this in one hit. They then hit me, right? And you could calculate because I know exactly how much strength this melee beast uh, barbarian has. So there was, what, 130 of them. So if I do 130 times 130,000, he has 16.9 strength, right? That's the damage they dealt, 16.9. He doesn't deal bonus damage to my squad because they're horses or riders or mounted, I should say. Um, and yeah, he dealt 16.9, which based off of the health is 852. So if I take this number here divided by 852, I can tell you each one of my um, level 5 riders actually has about 19,835 roughly health, which if I take this 31, so what did I say here, 19,000, let's say 19,000, right? And if I take 3150, multiply it by... Or 12,000. Well, there's something else in there. Um, oh, health of your army on group marches is an extra thousand. There it is. Um, so I'd have to add, add more. I, I didn't look at the group march here. Um, in any case, this is how you can start to do some math and analyze these fights. Now, why did Lady Nim's horses or mounted units attack before these ones or these ones? If you look at this here, Nelly's attacking squad had 8,500 riders. Lady Nim's had 6,600 riders. So there's uh, just under 2,000 more riders in this squad but they only dealt 1,600 damage. This here dealt double, but if you look at it, it's about 1,700, right? So I can click on this, look at strength plus 353%. I can click on this one, strength plus 238%. Um, so, when you're going to fight something, now say I pick this common undead squad here, and I can look at this monster, right? So, he's a ghoul, he does 10% extra damage against mounted, so I don't want to send mounted into him. Heats against ranged, so I don't want to send ranged. So basically against this, I send melee units. But there's 1,004, or sorry, 140,000 of these guys. Although this guy is going to attack first. But still, let's go 140,000 times 28. They're going to do 3.9 million damage when they hit you, 
And when these guys hit you, so 3.9 plus 3.9 plus 8.89. About 12.8 million strength or damage. So your troops need to be able to do more than 12.8 million damage to them and have, or sorry, need to have more than 12.8 million health in a single hit, one hit, right? Or sorry, two rounds, each one attacks. And then they need to be able to do enough damage to take out all this health. I'm not gonna do all the math in front of you, but I think you understand how you can look at these and figure out what the strength and health and the numbers and what troops you need, right? If I send this, I'm gonna die. You can see, I'm, I'm gonna lose 100%, right? If I select everything, don't wanna send my catapults, now, what did I say? These are strong against ranged, strong against mounted. So I actually want to send all my melee guys, my spearmen. So I send 26,000 of those. I'm not going to send any mounted. They will all die quickly. Flying I can send, right? None of these are strong against flying. And I can send that too. So if I were to send this, low difficulty, losses in battle, you know, like I'm going to lose 1 to 10% of my troops, and I'm going to kill that really easily. That's level 23, 1.86 million valor. Um, so when you're going to go into a fight, start looking at this kind of stuff. And it goes the same for fighting citadels. It goes the same for fighting... Basically anything, um, right? Here's the level 29 rare barbarian squad. I could just hit select all and know that I'm going to die, but I can actually also look and see, hey, he's strong against ranged, strong against mounted, strong against melee and flying. So no matter what I send, I'm going to be screwed. But this guy is probably going to attack first. So don't make your main troops ranged. Uh, and that is a bit about the battle analytics and math.